Richie Richardson batting out of his crease. The Fritas. So caught behind and Richie Richardson's run of low scores continues out for a duck against Australia at the SCG in the last match and once more going for a duck here. Philip de Freitas, the fine young all-rounder for England, getting the ball to bounce, Richardson away from his body, and Jack Richards did the rest, and it's one for seven, so on the top order of the West Indian batting lineup. The new batsman is Larry Gomes. In the air, someone sketch just short. Well, agonizingly short here. And what a situation the West Indies would have been in then. Small. Big shot for a leg before. Unmoved umpire Randall. Reached 16. They've lost the wicket of Richardson. Philip de Freitas. Haynes cuts loose with a full shot off de Freitas. First positive straight for a long, long time. We're going to attempt four. All run. Over. One for 25. Both of them to continue. That's more like it. Larry Gomes timing that one nicely. He's found the practice wickets. And the ball really races away once it gets onto the practice wicket area. Slow up the, the pace of the ball as it rolls into the gutter. Pressure on both of them now. And he'd be even more dissatisfied with that. Got his hands on his hips. And uh, I suspect he'll have a harsh word with uh, Mr. Gatting, the skipper, the thrower. And Mr. Gatting might have a... See uh, a change in bowling. And Foster... Comes into the side in place of Graham Dilly. Big appeal there for RBW, he's got him, out to RBW, well bowled Neil Foster, that was a bang on target, didn't seem to bounce too much, and uh, it hurried on. For the pull shot, it's 2 for 49. Will he be the executioner? Big tactical moment for Mike Gatting here. Does he have the 499? So Gatting is going to have to keep the attacking fieldsman up to a degree, so if there's a nick from Richards, it's caught. Good shot. Beautifully placed through the gap. The Freitas is going to have to move to get there. He won't. Well, that'll relieve the pressure and uh, indeed relax. Bowling. It's going to be John Embry. Embry from the members' end. And that's hit with a lot of power. Reminiscent of the shot that Ian Botham played earlier in the afternoon. Beautiful evening here in Melbourne, coming over the wicket to the right-hander. That's a huge hit. It's going to clear the Freitas and the fence. About ten rows back into the uh, concourse in front of the members' stand. Well, the Freitas is there. It's a deep, the long hit. That's a massive hit, the longest point of the ground. Going that way, and he's cleared the Freitas by many, many metres. There's the Freitas. Clear as a bell. Crash. Too many players with the ability to hit the ball that far. It's Thomas mid off. Slack going back. It's too far. And this time about 10 rows back into the concourse just in front of the northern stand. 5,000 runs to Vivian Richards in one day international. He's what a cricketer. He's averaging over 50, 52. And here tonight he's given the Victorian fans a, a touch of greatness. Oh, well, well, well. 
Emery's followed both those sixes with good deliveries. This blows. Run rate required 3.02. Eight wickets in hand, and only 57 runs required. Over stage. Trouble at the ball is in for Gomes. Scrooby on his way. Quick work there by Jack Richards and an accurate throw. Pass sent back by Vivian Richards. The Sydney's 3 for 98 in the 34th over. Gaslogi comes in at the fall of the third wicket. Gaslogi's been in quite good form. He joins Viv Richards. Found the gap. Didn't time it all that well, but well enough that they'll get three runs from it. And the West Indies 100 goes onto the board. Logie in full cry there. Didn't quite middle that one. It's a very fine. James Whitaker. He'll gamble on the throw, and Viv Richards very quick across the turf. Scampered home that 22 yards in a big hurry. And he's bad across the line and beat the throw. And had to stretch out. Gladstone Small. A good shot, no good call, and that one running away down towards the back of point boundary. It probably will just get cut off. Neil Foster, the fieldsman down there. He's got a pretty strong arm, Neil Foster. It's a long boundary down there. That's been with John Embry coming back into the attack. Embry, eight overs, one made, and now we've got the 39. And there's another one out there through extra cover. Well, that's a very good 50, and it was much needed by the West Indians. Yes, he scored 70 against Australia at the Sydney Cricket Ground. He's gone on again tonight. And there's another four to go on with. John Embry, exactly where Richie Bonneau suggested, the straight hit. And Richards with a career average of 52 in one-day internationals. Scored over 5,000 runs at 52. That's a magnificent average and a great strike rate as well. Nine and four is 13. Richards at his best. Three for one, four, five. Neil Foster. Got in, cuts into his stumps, and Richards bowled by Foster for 58. With 84 delivery space with five fours and two sixes. So Neil Foster picks up his second wicket. That of Vivian Richards. Bowled off a bottom edge with two runs for victory. We can hit it square, aim at the big stump, cut it back into the middle stump. So Foster strikes, and Richards departs for 58. Four for one. We can hit it square, aim at the big stump, cut it back into the middle stump. So Foster strikes. Richards departs for a 58. Four for 